So we're back at the Sunny Hill restoration area. Very impromptu uh, video. I was actually uh, on my way home from doing running some errands and I thought, man, I sure would like to get a hike in. And then I thought, you know what? It's, we've had right much dry weather, uh, probably about a week and it's supposed to have thunderstorms tonight. So I thought this would be a good time to try to get in the Southern track. I don't even have my uh, filming stick and I certainly don't have any hiking clothes. But I do have at least this, and I don't have a bear spray. <laughs> so that's why I said it's an impromptu. But we're going to try to get this south track in. And this is where I'm at right here. Uh, this is 42, right off of 42, just past the uh, Akawa River there. So let's get going. So, you know, we've got a previous video about this portion of this trail. But I just thought, you know what, I, you know, if you haven't seen that video, then, you know, I figured I better just give you a little clip. So you come through a cow pasture, more or less, to get to that sign that I got at the beginning of the video. Then you kind of come through the woods just a little bit, and then you come down this, uh, well, I guess you could call it a grassy road. Uh, luckily, it's cut down pretty good so far. Now, there's, there's two different hikes. You know, if you just want a real brief hike, you just go all the way down to the end of this road and then just hike back. At least you're out here with the cattle. See them? See them over there? And, uh, but up here, um, I'll get it on the film. We're going to make a left, and the trail goes down into the woods. And the last time I was here, uh, it wasn't well maintained, and uh, it was very, it got too wet. And, I uh, and I think even then I wasn't, you know, didn't have my hiking pants and my hiking shoes just like today. So who knows? This could be just a hike down this road, and then, uh, I might just get, get some exercise, swing into, uh, Maybe Chernobyl on my way home and uh, do that little five mile loop. And But I thought we'd give this a try and just see how wet it is down here. If we get the hike in, this will be a, another hiking video, even though I don't have my uh, my selfie stick or any of that, which you probably appreciate because you don't have to look at my ugly mug. So let's just keep on going. So we've come as far as I made it before. Now I hope I'm not getting eaten by chiggers and fleas. And I haven't seen any wood ticks on my socks. So you, it's kind of overgrown, um, but this is as far as we made it last time because this is where it was so wet. And uh, you can see what I see. It looks, uh, you know, like uh, might be able to keep going. You know, I, I was going to turn around and just say I can't do it without the hiking pants, but I wanted to see how wet it was because, uh, you know, I mean, you know, I probably will just turn around here in just a bit. But you can see we could you could hike this now. It's dried out enough. Now we're supposed to have thunderstorms tonight, and that's why I'm here right now. Um, but uh, I'll keep going until it uh, gets uh, the weeds get too high. Um, I don't like hiking through tall grass without my hiking pants. And uh, you know what? I thought about it. I should have thrown the bug netting. I've got the bottom bug netting. Could have put that on. You, you can still see it's. It's a, yeah. We're gonna turn around. You can see the trail's just getting kind of crazy, and it's still a little wet. You know, look at that. They, I'd have to bring my trimmers back and just kind of cut my way through. So, all right, that's it for today. I don't even know if I'll throw this video up, but all right, peace out. So that southern track was unhikable, and uh, we came down. I forget what the name of this road is, but uh, I want to just try a different entrance to uh, the Sunny Hill Restoration Area. So let's see, we're at uh, 13740 Southeast 182nd Avenue Road, gate uh, 4309. And uh, I think I can squeeze my fat little body between that pole right there. I got the umbrella because it has been sprinkling. And uh, you can see the grass is somewhat cut down. I mean, I don't think it's too bad to hike. So uh, let's get going. And the grass could be lower, you know, probably still want hiking pants to come through here. Don't be in shorts like me, but uh, you can see with the uh, the grass on top that they've uh, they've tried to maintain it a little bit. You know, I don't know. It's getting it kind of goes from deep to shallow. I don't know how recently this was cut. Hard to tell. You know, it's, it's a little long in the tooth for hiking, but uh, I don't know. Let's go back in here a ways. Uh, you know, typical sunny hill hiking, you know, wide open. Uh, you know, it's down low enough that I don't think I have to worry about snakes today. 
Um, so, you know, uh, but I, you know, I did want to just come out here and see what Sunny Hill's looking like, because uh, I really can't wait to get back out here. Because, you know, you, it just kind of winds all over the place. And I know there's sections that we have not done uh, like this, you know. I mean, I certainly have never hiked that little piece right now. And who knows whether I've come up that before or not. So uh, I'm going to go out here a ways and enjoy. Beautiful day. i got the umbrella on my back just in case. Uh, I've seen a little few sprinklers. And uh, like I said, we're supposed to get thunderstorms tonight. So, you know, this is the only time I'm going to be able to get out here and do this. Uh, or attempt to do it. Let's just put it that way. And, uh, but, you know, this is kind of just the way it looks. And if I see something different, I'll, I'll get it on the video. This could be a real short video, but I did want to show the people of Central Virginia that, uh, you know, if you had a, some hiking pants, maybe some hiking shoes, uh, it's cut down pretty good for, for right now. I imagine they'll probably be coming back to cut it again soon. And once the growing season is over, this will be, uh, this will be completely hikeable again. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've been down that before. That was a nice hike, but I, I don't think I went this way before. You know, I hope I'm not getting chiggers and stuff on my legs, you know, because the grass is a little long. But, uh, you know, I just uh, I just got to get a hike in. and Well, I wanted to see what it looked like. So there you go. Always good to get these on the video. Man, these are some monster trees, aren't they? Isn't it great that we still have preserved stuff like this? I mean, look at that thing. Monster oak. You know, more back here. But I'm seeing that the it's coming out, and I think that might be the main trail that goes down to that tower. And uh, at least I can get a hike in, because that, that'll definitely be cut down. So we're coming up towards it, but at least you got to see another trail, because I know I haven't been down this before. So, uh, anyway, we'll... We may get up on the tower and uh, just make a quick video there. You've seen that before, but it's so beautiful. I wouldn't mind ending this video with, with that look. So, uh, and this this is this this side trail, I recall, uh, was, was unhikeable the last time I was here because it wasn't cut at all. So this does mean, you know, they're, they're coming back and getting it done. So let's see what we find out up here at the turn. Well, I'm pretty sure I'm correct. This is the main trek... Uh, even at the other entrance, but you can see the grass. I mean, it's been cut, but you know, it's just not a fun hike. You gotta get it, once they get it lower than this, that's when we'll come back. And so I'm just gonna head on back and, uh, you know, you really can't see, you know, I mean, if you did have a snake underneath there, you could possibly step on one. So it's just a little too long for me today. Uh, we'll end the video there. I was hoping that this was gonna come up on, cause that, uh, that road that goes through the, um, the restoration area. But here, let's get this on the video. Might as well get a panoram while we're here. All right. Freedom, oh freedom, good to live in the pumpkin state with the great Governor DeSantis, being free. So I thought we were done, but uh, I kind of looked at this trail to the, well, the left on the way back or the right on the way up. And uh, I don't know why, but the grass is a lot shorter here. This is, this is like, this is hikeable, you know what I mean? I'm not hiking through that deep grass. Uh, so we'll see how long this continues. Uh, I mean, they're trying, you know. I, I think they, once they cut it one more time with, uh, you know, October here, uh, this will be back to a great place to come for the winter and just hike around. I mean, I do love it here. I, I mean, this is a great place to just come out and do some casual hiking. Uh, you can see it, it's a little long right here, but uh, I'm going to keep on going. I won't be probably any more video. I mean, this, cause this is just basically the way it looks on this section of the trail, probably. I don't know if I've hiked this before or not. Uh, but, uh, you know, you can see it's just beautiful. Nice and quiet. You can hear the road over there, you know, so we're not too far from the, the main road. Like, you know, I'd like being more off the beaten track, but uh, 
you know, today I'm just, well, I wanted to make just a brief video and get some exercises. All right, peace out, man. Be free. Man, <laughs> I couldn't get him on the video, but uh, anyway, there was a deer. He came right across right here. I, you know, I never, you know, rarely do I see them just flat out at a run, you know. Normally I just see them munching and then they just kind of move off on you know, on their own. This guy was growing like a bat out of hell, man. I didn't know they were that fast. And I've seen a lot of deer in my hiking. But man, he was flying across there. Holy moly. All right. All right, it got long again. Well, at least I got a little bit more of a hike in. But the, you can see the road's just over here. This is just a little offshoot, but uh, I'll wait till they cut it again and come back some other time. I don't know if I'll get any more hiking in today. I hope so. Um, it is threatening rain for sure. All right. Well, that should be it for sure. Thought I'd try another entrance here. We've been here before. You know, you can look at the rock piles over there. Because I wanted to see, you know, if I... Uh, if they cut this in sections, and I think I'm, I'm coming to the conclusion, and it would make sense, is they probably come in here all at one time and cut the whole thing. And uh, and that's it, because I'm kind of seeing the grass about the same length no matter where I go. You know, I was thinking that maybe, just maybe, you know, they might cut, uh, you know, one section one day, and another, you know, another section, you know, four or five days later or something like that, but no. Yeah, I think what they do is they just come probably in mass with a bunch of uh, uh, equipment and just cut it all at one time. So it's uh, till they get back and uh, with the crew and hit the whole thing, it's going to be pretty deep uh, for for hiking. I'm just going to go up in here a ways and look for myself, but uh, you can see what I'm seeing. It's about the same here as it was at the other entrance. So. I guess we're gonna have to wait a while longer before we can start doing Sunny Hill and by that time I should be on the road on my way my thousand mile journey. So not thousand, ten thousand mile journey. So anyway, so uh, anyway, Sunny Hill's getting there. It'll be a good place to come soon. So I hiked all the way up to the, what I call the main road here. And uh, you can see it's pretty, pretty deep. So they, they haven't been back for a while. They're gonna have to cut it one more time before you can get out and do a casual hike. But I did want to get the view here. You know, we got the sun peeking through the clouds there. And that's the that's the restoration area. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Oh my God, that's why I can't wait. I can't wait this winter to just come here and get exercise. And well, I'm sure there's pieces that I haven't seen before and we'll get a video of that, but uh, Anyway, I'll just take it on back to the car because that's just a bit too, too long in the tooth for me.